SpaceX's 14th commercial resupply mission to the International Space Station will mark the first opportunity of 2018 to replenish this U.S. National Laboratory in low Earth orbit with new and exciting research. Let's learn more about some of the featured investigations and facilities that are destined to station as part of this mission. 490 Biotech will examine anti-cancer therapeutics through a novel bioluminescent kit. This research could have far-reaching impacts on the drug development process to include the timing of when therapeutics come to market. Two student investigations as part of the Genes in Space flight competition will be evaluating various DNA experiments aboard the space station. Students from across the country have the ability to submit DNA amplification experiments through this program, which is sponsored by the Boeing Company. The Materials International Space Station Experiments Flight Facility, or MISI, was developed by Alpha Space. This exciting facility will enable academic, commercial, and other government agencies the ability to put materials experiments on the outside of the space station, exposing these experiments to the extreme environment of space. The multi-use variable gravity platform developed by TechShot includes two internal carousels that simultaneously produce artificial gravity. This facility can be used to conduct research in space with a wide variety of sample types. A CUBE satellite mission developed in partnership with Nanorax will focus efforts on the ability to remove debris in low Earth orbit. The mission will deploy two CubeSats as artificial debris targets to demonstrate technologies such as net capture, harpoon capture, and vision-based navigation. This mission provides an assortment of research on space station that will benefit life on Earth and will also bring new facilities to the International Space Station to further enhance our capabilities in low Earth orbit. And we wish our partners at NASA, SpaceX, and all of our principal investigators the best of luck for a great year of research in 2018.